on this episode of Car Fellas, Tommy goes to Brooklyn on a hunt to find us a perfect classic car. Out of everything in here, you bring me to a police paddy wagon. Right. And Al brings us a 68 Camaro that has more to it than meets the eye. Almost every paddle on the car needs work. That's ridiculous, bro. That's crazy. Wow. Wow. That's nice. It's something you don't see every day. Yeah. I came to Broadway to sell my 68 Camaro. I bought this car for $20,000. I'm looking to get $24,000. Nice car, man. Yeah, thank you. 68. Yes, 68. Yeah. The 68 Camaro is an amazing car. If the mechanics are good and the body's in excellent condition, it could be worth over $20,000. Eventually, our dream is to own a dealership that only sells Has cars these, like sir. this. I would love to have this car on the lot. I see you got a little bit of bubbling going on down here on the front fender. Same thing on the door a little yeah, bit there. Yeah, it's got a little cancer here and there, yeah. but for the most part, you know, she's a beauty. As I start looking at the car, I'm noticing little problems with the body. Nothing major right now, but even these little things could really affect the value of the car. So far, they seem very negative on the car. I mean, all I can think about is if they're going to buy the car or not. How long have you had this car? I got the car about eight months. I got it from a personal friend of mine. OK. It's got a 350 oh, rebuilt wow. engine. It's just been rebuilt. What are you looking to get for it? 24,000. I paid close to that price. Really? Yeah. Wow. All right. That's a huge amount. This guy definitely didn't do his homework before he bought the car. What I'd really like to do is call in somebody. I got some good friends. They really deal with Camaros a lot. And maybe they can give me a better assessment of what kind of work I have to do to the car to get it to the next level. $24,000 is a lot of money for me to spend on a car. And I don't even know if it's the original engine. Okay. Good? Yeah. Thanks, cool. man. I'll be right back. Hey, how you doing, pal? Santo! Oh, Giovanni! Guess it eats. I just saw you pull up. <laughs> Number six with eggplant. Joe oh. Maggio. <laughs> You know, my mom had uh, open heart surgery, but we're... Oh, wow. It. They had to put in a new valve. You know what? My father had a valve put in, a pig's valve. My mother got the cow. How's your family? You still with your girl? Of course. Married now, two years. Better you than me. Wow, hey. <laughs> I got to get out of here, bro. I got to go check out Lenny's classic car collection. I told Mike I was going to buy one. Hopefully, it's a caddy. How you doing, Lenny? Yeah, Tommy. How you doing? Hey, I'm nice Tommy. to meet you. Uh, holy <laughs> wow. This is unbelievable. Anything that you don't want, <laughs> you could add to my collection. Well, that's why I have so many. There's, there's very little that I don't want. I also have a little bit of a car collection. My car is all Cadillacs, though. Walk this way. This is a micro car. I'm like a little kid in a candy store right now. This is the Jaguar. Right, it's a great pickup car. You think I need a car like this to pick up broads? <laughs> 1965 Chrysler 300 convertible. This was the car that was in the Love Shack music video, you remember? Oh, the B-52s? Yeah, this is the, the car. In my language, this is unbelievable. What about this uh, checker cab? This is an actual New York City cab. It's not just a checker that was converted to a cab for movie use. This is, a, this is just the way the car came off the street. Um, Does it still drive? It drives perfectly. Let's go around the block. We're going to go for a ride in this? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll set the meter. This thing is amazing. It's got a fan up here. It's got AC. Oh, we got a wise Come guy. Come on, guy. We got a wise guy here. Watch out for my cab. 
<laughs> this thing drives great. You want to know something? I thought this thing was going to be prehistoric driving. The I mean, look at this. Tommy is a character. My first impression was, you know, with the gold chain and the kind of macho image that he's got, uh, I was a little taken aback. But I could see by the way he treats the cars in driving that, you know, that there's something good about him. I yeah. could picture me 30 cents. being a cab driver <laughs> in one of these. Way to go, Lenny. Yeah, no problem. Would you ever think of selling this? No, never. I, I promised I would keep it, and I'm keeping it. Are there any other checkers oh, around yeah, that? Yeah. There are a lot of them around, but a majority of them have been restored for movie use or props. This is the real thing. This is a New York City cab. Do you know of any that are actually for sale? I always hear of one. I'll let you know. Please let me know. And really, you, they're not that... Uh, you know, they're not that high high priced either. I think you Take it easy. No, forget it. Everyone's like that. It just turns green. What do they think? You, I got a turbo yeah, back? Yeah, you drive the way I do, so cautiously, which I like. This was great, Lenny. I'd love to own every one of those cars. But ultimately I came here to buy something to bring back to Mike. So what here is for sale? Well, I have one car you want to Take a look. After all the amazing cars that I saw, I couldn't imagine what he was gonna show me under this cover. Oh my God. Oh, wow. Alice here with his 1968 Camaro. He wants 24 grand, which is a ton of money. But it's a car I'd love to have on my lot. So I called two friends who are experts on Camaros. Nice. Beautiful car. Wow. Wow. That is outrageous. Thank you. Linda and Anthony are the two premier Camaro experts here on the East Coast. Linda has been judging national Camaro shows, and Anthony has been the president of the Long Island Camaro Club for almost a whole decade. Let's see. Linda and Anthony are going over the car with a fine-tooth comb. All the defects that they find are going to affect how I negotiate the price. Okay. Interesting interior. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the interior has the wrong interior. The seats had velour covers on them. It has some rust issues. Nothing that can't be repaired. Quite a bit. Once you get down to it, you got to see what is uh, actually wrong. What's bringing the rust back out? Right. It would have to be totally stripped down. Right. Between the exterior problems and the interior problems, everything's adding up real fast. I really would like to get Linda in the car, take her for a ride, get some alone time with her so we can really talk. Take me for a ride. Yeah. Well, what'd you think when you were looking at the car? Uh, needs a lot of work. It's definitely needing a paint job. I'm saying minimum 10000 Just for the paint and body work? Yeah. Wow. If you're lucky. All the work that this car needs is really adding up. By the time I'm done fixing it, it's going to be more than what the car's worth. He's asking $24,000. I mean... So this car is not worth 24000 if it was in mint condition. <sighs> Unbelievable. You're lucky you'll get 20000 when it's fully done. Al's price tag is really out of whack. I'm going to have Lyndon Anthony look at the motor and see if it's original. If not, my offer is going to take a dive. You got some real negotiating to do when you go back there. And I got to tell you, rides nice, right? Ran Car rides nice. Nice, nice and tight. According to Al, it's an original numbers matching motor. We can look real easily by the uh, trim tech, by the, by the tab on the. Uh... It's not an original motor. It's not an original motor. No. And how do you know that? On these cars is a, a protrusion off the block that they would stamp the VIN number and the build date. On this year car, it, the casting would have been a lot larger. This is more of a replacement motor, late 70s. This not being the original motor is definitely going to drop the value about $8,000. Well, I appreciate you guys coming down. No problem. Thanks. Thank you very Thank much. You. The engine was in a numbers matching engine, so I'm not happy with the way things are going. 
I can't even imagine his reaction when I make him this offer. He spent a lot of money on this car, and in order for him to sell it, he's gonna have to take a big loss. But buying this car at his price would be a disaster for me. Almost every panel on the car needs work. So the car's gotta be taken down to metal. I would like to buy the car, but we're on two different planes right now, so what are you thinking? I am, I'm negotiable. I'm, I'm thinking 22 is the best I could do. Bro, you know I gotta tell you something. From what the car needs to get it to the next level, I'm thinking we're close to like seven grand. Nah, seven thousand, that's ridiculous, bro. That's crazy. What are you nuts? Mike, I mean, shot me, lowballed me real bad. It's a great car. You're telling me it needs major work? That's ridiculous. The car, when it's done, is worth somewhere 20 to 24, almost what you were asking now. Mm -hmm. So what do you want to do? I've been doing this for a long time. This guy is so far out in left field, we're never meeting in the middle. Respected. We might be at an impasse. We're in two different worlds two right different now. Plane. And uh, Thanks, good luck to you, man. Sorry, Thank you for coming deal, down. Man. I no am problem. sorry to Anytime. Man. Deals like this happen all the time. People come in here, they don't know the value, they don't know the current market. They seem like good guys, fair guys, but they're definitely missing out on a good car. Coming up, Tommy and Lenny go cruising in the Cadillac. Check out this girl, Lenny. Oh, hey, I'm in enough trouble already, Tommy. I'm in Brooklyn today, checking out Lenny's garage, looking at his incredible collection. Mike gave me $10,000 to buy something. It happens to be what you collect. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is a 64 convertible. This is beautiful. You took the words out of my it's mouth. It's the last year of the Finns, Lenny. This is an amazing Cadillac. I'd love to go home with this. This is the kind of car that you just sit back and in our language, you just drive down the street and pimp it out. It's a rebuilt engine, by the way. Everything on the car works. I can't leave this garage without driving this car. There's no better feeling in the world than driving a Cadillac down the street. That is true. I knew that the Cadillac drove the way it should. I got 10 grand to spend. I hope I'm gonna leave with this car. We should have waited so it was 100 degrees to do this. Do you ever do anything without complaining? I like I'm to complain. Curious. Complaining is good. Meanwhile, we're over here breaking our ass. And where the hell is Tommy? Wow, what a beautiful day. Guy can't ask for a better one. Any excuse to go to Brooklyn, this guy? Any excuse? I look to stay out of Brooklyn. I don't want to go by all the old haunts over there. Brooklyn was like a headquarters for us. That's where we used to go. That's where we used to meet guys. So I'm real worried about Tommy when he goes there. You think he's hanging out with the old crew over there? He should be buying cars, not hanging out with gangsters. You know what I mean? You know, he don't know what the consequences are. Unfortunately, I faced the consequences. This guy didn't. He's only going to get in trouble. Did you ever get on by a pigeon with the Absol top down? Absolutely. Check out this girl, Lenny. Oh, how you doing? <laughs> she didn't hear me, Len. Hey, I'm in enough trouble already, Tommy. <laughs> I don't know if Lenny's gonna part with the car, but hopefully uh, we can get it done. I thought the ride was really nice. Uh, I mean, I like the car. The lines are great, the fins are great, but what I really need to know is how much you want for this car. Well... $20,000. It's way out of my budget. This car is nice, but it needs a lot of work. Now, you didn't call all out with your paint job. No, no, it's not a million dollar paint no, job. No, you did like a soft resto. Right. It's a convertible. It needs to have leather interior. When you did it, you decided to do it in vinyl. That takes away from the value of the car. Tommy could see all the flaws. He knew right away that a Caddy convertible should have a leather interior. Knowing Cadillacs the way I do, I know what I need to do to the car to bring it to that next level. I would never want to insult you at the 7,500 that I think that the car is worth. I didn't haggle with Lenny because he was just so far out of the realm, we weren't even close. What else do you have that I could buy? Because I got to go back to Broadway Motors with a car. What about a classic truck? A 68 GMC step van. This truck. 
this truck. Out of everything in here, you bring me to a police paddy wagon. Right. <laughs> Let me explain something to you. If I brought this home to my friends and I drove down the street, they'd all be running. You can say, hey, I, hey, listen, I'm here to pick you up. I mean, what could I do with this thing? Maybe I could sell ice cream at the, off the car lot. Oh, what idea. do you want for this thing? 1,500 bucks. How about I give you $1,000? 1,300. Fair deal. We had a good time today. I could scrap the truck and get 1,500. And I know you could, but... But I hate to do it. I would hate to do it. How about I give you $1,000, you make me happy, and you make the kids happy that I'm going to give ice cream to? You're breaking my heart. Lenny, do it for the kids, Lenny. $1,000 is good? Yeah, you know, the space is worth more than the $1,000, <laughs> believe it or not. I didn't mind taking $1,000 for it. You know, it was fun haggling with him. Haggling is half of the fun. I had a great time today. Yeah, I did too. Mike told me to come back with something. It's not at all what I expected. I can't wait to see his face when I roll up in this truck. I'm getting hungry again. Of course you are. <laughs> what the hell is that? Aw, oh, man, what'd you do now? I didn't do nothing. Man, I see that van pull up, and I tell you, it brings back memories, and not the good ones. <laughs> what are you <laughs> nuts? What the hell is that? What? What is this? What does it look like? It's it looked like you. a pinch coming over here. As soon as it came coming. in, Mike just assumed position <laughs> right away. <laughs> and this is what you got from Brooklyn? With the collection, all the cars? It was. This there is was, what you come back with? beautiful cars there. Come on, And Tommy. the cars were way too out of the price range. The Cadillac wasn't worth what he wanted. This was a bargain. I knew Mike wasn't going to be happy, but I had to come back with something. I just need Mike to see the vision that I see. Listen to what's going to happen. We vinyl wrapped this whole entire thing. You better thing. vinyl. I tell you with these police stickers on it. My oh, friends I are mean... going to think I joined Team America. We cut a hole through the side with a little window back and forth, put a freezer, and we give kids ice cream. This is just another way for him to get more ice cream. Listen, I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> Here's what I think. I, uh, Pitch I think it a thing. Cutting a hole and it's a nightmare. No. But I really do think if you wrapped it and put our logo on it, come on, come it on. could be a big sign. Come on. Look at Broadway Motors. But what the hell did you pay for this thing? A thousand dollars. I got to cut Tommy some slack. He made a solid contact and he didn't waste the guy's time. I know we could scrap it for fifteen hundred. That's a profit of five hundred. If you say the guy's a good contact, you only spent a G note. It ain't Come the end on, of the world. I went there. I came back with something that's gonna make us money and draw attention to us. I was using, I was using you as my billboard. Now I got the truck. <laughs> what do you mean using me? I'm just saying, you're like a walk <laughs> sign. It ain't a bad thing. All in all, it was a great day. I didn't get my caddy, but that's okay. A huge Broadway Motors truck is just as good. Almost.